Okay, good morning everybody. Um, probably broke one of these last night, so I'm here early. On the he broke it on the sprayer. I'm gonna put that here early so I can fix it. Then he can go do some spraying this morning. Uh, then we got a grease cultivator. There we go. Grease cultivator so we can use it next. Um, and then we're gonna go do chores and get this day moving. There we go. So it's not a big deal, it happens. Yeah, I just, they're plastic. It caught a stick, broke it. So instead of coming back and fixing it last night, he called me. First of all, make sure we had a spare one. And I imagine we'll be rolling in the lane any minute now, just so he can probably fix it. But well, that's on my mind this morning. I just want to get it done. So let's get this unfolded. So you can see here, just broke the end one. It's not a, like I said, when you're doing around some of the fields and there's some trees and you're trying to get tight, we will hit it, not a big deal. Actually, normally I keep these in the cab of the tractor. That way, if you break it in the field, you can just switch it. But obviously we did not this time. Anyways. How goes the battle? Good. Good. Get it going. That's just being a little ignorant. Because you're so cold this morning. Even I'm cold. There's a couple more in there too. And then maybe go grab another one. I don't know if what's going on here. Just wants to be. <sighs> oh, this one's already a broken one. It looks like Owen. Oh, there we go. That's why. Yeah. I usually keep one in there, but obviously. Oh, look at that. Nice fitting. That's how it's supposed to go. There and I just want to do a shot. Give her a quick shot to have before where you don't want too tight because you snap them, but it's not tight enough, it leaks. Alright, oh, that doesn't feel nice. That will be mine. Screen it out. Still doesn't feel nice. All right. Stuck on the end there, I think. Is it? Yep. There should be O rings on that tractor, too, by the way. Yeah, that felt way better. Okay. Done and done. Okay, he's gonna go and uh, spray that bean field he planted. We are going to pull this out. I want to grease that cultivator, grease those packers, and uh, we are going to work a little dirt today. I'm going to work that field I worked last night one more time to make sure it's perfectly level. And then I'm probably going to unhook. I got to hook onto the sunflower. I might go work some corn stalks uh, that the peas are going to get planted into.
Elevator, greased, time for the So, this is ready to go. I'm just gonna double check tire pressure and ready to do chores, then we'll uh, carry on with the day. Okay, we're finally, tractor's washed, greased, elevator's ready to go. They're actually here with the crane, taking down downspout so we get ready to crush an old bin. But I don't have time to uh, tape all that, but that is what's going on. Uh, we just got Owen filled with uh, seed. He's going to plant beans. It's rock and roll. So I got that piece ready for Owen to plant. And back this back into its spot we're gonna unhook hook to the sunflower and we are going to do the first pass uh, of the ground that is gonna be planted in peas and sweet corn uh, I haven't got the go-ahead yet but if I can get the first pass done then that is just out of the way Check out the job that we're doing here. Well, I think it's actually doing a pretty good job for the first pass here. You can see that this is what's left of the corn residue. It's really not that thick. It's actually burying quite nice. This is a uh, Little darker soil that we got compared to some of the other stuff was pretty sandy. Uh, there's, this is just a black muck that runs runs right through here. But yeah, it's coming up pretty nice. It's doing, I think, a really nice job with the first pass, considering we haven't used any sorts of tillage in the fall. Mike's here has brought the loader tractor. Um, I'm actually gonna let him take over this unit. Yeah, I'm gonna go grab the backhoe. I gotta go dig out some uh, some trees at a different farm that I come inside hydro pole, and then I'm gonna come back. Mike's gonna take the loader, 
push some sticks that are around the bush line, around the river here, and then I'm gonna hop back in. Well, I only made it to the end of the laneway and we got a flat. Oh, well, I guess I'm just supposed to go work good. So, Wes is bringing an impact gun. We'll zip these off, put her in the bucket of this tractor, take it to the shop. Makes it easy. Yes. And lighter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Back at it again. So Mike's still good tonight. Owen's pulling in. I'm pulling the, in. The it's, tree uh, that was down. He's gonna push we'll it in. It's a clock. couple. It's not that you all the way around. Have acres to do. It's just we're at. It'll take some time. Got a lot of clay left. So we'll have to wait. Maybe tomorrow. We'll see. Day after. We'll see what happens. Anyways, you guys have a good night. Like and subscribe. I'm going home to cook burgers.